Guess you won't start. What the fuck? Okay. So first thing you want to do is check. Check your spark. Uh, you can pull the coil wire off and have a little space and watch the spark spark when you kick it over. You want to make sure you got 12 volts to the battery, of course. If you got spark, if you pull this coil wire off and you set it near the ground, you have spark. And that basically means you do have spark. Next thing you do is uh, you want to check your spark plugs. You put your spark plug in the in the socket, put it near the ground, and watch it spark. <clears throat> if you have spark, you know the spark plug wires are good. Now this plug here looks pretty well fouled. I'm not sure how it got that fouled, but it's pretty well fouled. So we're gonna we're gonna put new ones in. And these were actually I had the uh, O'Reilly's uh, gap them for me. They were kind enough to gap them. And so anyway, we're going to replace these spark plugs simply because they look kind of dirty. And we got new ones. They were like five, four or five bucks a piece. And so we're going to put those in. Okay, so we'll start fuel spark, right? And I pulled the distributor cap to make sure the, uh, make sure the cam and the cam chain was good. It sort of made a different sound when I was trying to start it up. I got the cayenne pepper to keep the rodents away. And, uh... I'm going to put new spark plugs in here uh, with my new 5 8 inch plug uh, wrench. And, uh, okay, so this one, this is whatever, the second one there. I'm not sure if that's one or two, but basically it's the second one. And this one, it, it looks fairly decent. It actually looks fouled. Uh, it's, there's too much fuel on it. You can see it's got a kind of a wet coating on it, basically. So we're going to swap this out, start all over. Yeah, so number three is also what? flooded looks flooded and so this particular Nissan if you put your foot all the way down onto the floor pedal it shuts off the fuel uh, the fuel pump so if it's flooded you push down all the way on the fuel pump and theoretically crank it for a few times and it should clear the flooding out I'm not sure why this thing all of a sudden flooded but you know how seasonal changes are anything can happen right Take a look. Okay, so this it's is the rain number, whatever the fourth one, and this one's definitely flooded. There's actually a drop of fuel in between the gap. How do you like that? I don't think I've ever seen that. So these things actually do flood fairly easily. And the other thing I want to show you is, well, this one is not too bad, but it had some orange crap on that white part of the spark plug. Could be moisture getting down in there. So uh, yeah, that's the other thing to check. Now, you know, uh, when you have these things out of here and you want to check the spark, of course, you can just stick your spark plug in, in your socket here, or your, uh, your wires, and make sure it's all, see that orange stuff right there, on that spark plug right there, it's weird, and you just want to set it somewhere where you can see it so it's grounded, and kick it over, and if you got spark, you know, you got spark, so you can eliminate one thing, right? Uh, also, you can stick a compression tester down in there and test the compression on it. Make sure that you got compression. Um, if your compression is too low, the engine may not run. Um, so, okay, so this yeah, a couple things. A brand new plug, and it smells kind of gassy. It smells like it's getting too much gas. <clears throat> yeah. Well, if you can look down in there, or not. But uh, seems like it is getting fuel. Uh, we can check the spark on this one more time. Put the plug in here and ground Plugs the end of the there. plug and wash it. Should be it. grounded. We're going to have to take a look through here and see if we can see it. Um, better get the keys, right? Mm. Might be a good idea to charge your battery. Oh, let's see if we can see it. That's crazy. It seemed like it wanted to start easier without that plug-in here. So, let's take a look again. I might have to take the vice grips and clamp this down to ground it. But, uh, it's acting like it's wanted to start this time and without that plug in it, that's weird.